hi guys welcome back to my channel my lovelies so today i will be using the osset egyptian oracle cards and i will be using these cards for your daily reading today guys i will also give you some small information about this deck and i will also do a ritual to kind of like thank the spirits the guides who are present with us to kind of like help us to do the reading i mean help us to also connect with them even more guys okay actually i don't record all of this and show you i usually perform a ritual before i start the reading so i just thought why don't i share this with you guys okay so if you don't want to watch this uh, ritual part you can skip directly to the reading the timestamps are in the description box below guys and also i have pinned it in the comments so you can go to the timestamps and you can skip the reading i mean skip this part of me doing the ritual so now i will start uh, by just uh, making you all connect with the deck more so if you want to connect with the Osset Egyptian Oracle cards more, you can perform this whatever I'm doing and I will also be describing about this deck. Okay. So Goddess Osset is also called as a Goddess Isis. I think the Isis, the name Isis, you would have heard more than the name Osset. And she is an Egyptian goddess the osset temple is located in the river nile i mean on the banks of the river nile and it is famous for its prophecy readings usually they do the readings by scarring that is gazing into the crystal bowl of water that is using hieroglyphic symbols written on papyrus leaves okay so this is how the egyptian usually do the prophecy readings okay and this is all about the goddess Osset or the goddess isis if you want to know more about this ritual please make sure to comment down below and let me know guys because if you want to know then i will give you more information because it is really interesting to know about all the goddess and all the cards well before you start the reading right and now if you want to do the reading or if you if you want a similar experiences like they used to do in the Egyptian temple Egyptian or temple I will be doing a similar kind of reading today guys I won't be using the crystal bowl or the crystal ball you can also use a crystal ball if you don't own a crystal bowl or any bowl will do the work okay so what I have to do first is that I need to kind of like clear out the thoughts that I have in my mind and kind of like start with praying to the goddess Osset or you can pray to any other Egyptian divinity as your preference and who you want to connect with and ask their protection and guidance and to receive their wisdom so let us pray now I'll just pray now and then I will again kind of like start the reading for you all guys and today I will be using the just a glass bowl of water with the deck okay so now has um, in the book in the guidebook it was written that first to handle the cards we need to take some lemongrass or some essential oil in our hands it can also we can also use frankincense but I took some lemongrass uh, essential oil in my hands I'll kind of like rub it I'll rub my hands with it and I will kind of shuffle the cards now for you all guys okay okay so my hands all like it has a very good smell the lemongrass essential oil so now I'm just shuffling the cards now not thinking about anything just keeping my mind blank and just letting in a golden light into my hands like i'll just imagine a light kind of coming into the cards the blessings from the goddess Osset or isis and let her wisdom kind of shine in this reading 
okay so now as we've got all the things that we need to do the reading the ritual is done here guys so now i will be starting the reading and guys if you want uh, these kind of readings make sure to comment down below and let me know because every time i start the reading i will do i will perform certain rituals and then start the reading okay so yes i will be also like I'll be also looking into this and I will be giving a reading for you all guys one card for your general energies and one card for your love energies guys okay so let us start the reading um, my lovelies so Capricorn this is a reading for you all again guys so let us see what is coming up for your general energies and for your love energies capricorn so i will just be taking out some cards for your general energies capricorn like one card for your general energy and one card for your love energy so we have the fire spirit for your general energies and for your love energies we have the ra creative power so for your general energies let us start with your general energies now guys i will be just giving you a message that this fire spirit has for you quips enough quips enough i don't know how to pronounce this if you can please uh, i know like you cannot pronounce it obviously so let us us uh, i'll give you a message now guys okay so the message we have here i come from the west to give you a new life for i am webs enough he who refreshes his brethren with fire energy I know if you visit Egypt, I can help you or hinder you. So be aware. Hinder you. So be aware of this and evoke me. Invoke me respectfully. My energy in your intentions. So invoke me, and you will feel my energy. Work with me and the segment for many changes are coming to your life so what this uh, god has what the spirit a uh, god whatever it is has to say to you all is that if you guys are going to i mean take care of your money matters don't overspend your money don't uh, like seriously don't get involved with something that you cannot repay okay so if you're borrowing money from someone make sure that you can repay it to the person okay it is just pointless if uh, you're just borrowing money and if you cannot repay it okay i know it is hard for you sometimes because people don't understand you but yes i can also see here that you might have some problems in your situation it can be a family situation it can be a love situation but these problems will not hinder your overall connection with this person or with the people around you okay with the friends or whatever it is i can also see here that try healing yourself and all the difficulties will settle soon just kind of like i know the arguments are getting heated up things are just becoming too much for you to handle but also remember this guys the things will settle down the arguments will settle down in your family or whatever is happening around you all the crazy energy will definitely go down so you definitely have, don't have to worry about this and i can also see here that just face the current situation with a lot of love face the current situation and let the rest come like just learn from the situation instead of judging the situation guys okay
so this is the overall major energy that i'm getting here guys my uh, lovely capricorn and for your love energies with the creative power with the raw energy all i can get here for you guys is that uh, don't think too much because you guys i can see that you are thinking too much um capricorn just let your energy be free don't think too much and let go of the things that you feel you need to let go of um capricorn and what i'm getting here for you guys for your love energies is uh that it's okay to start something new it's okay to begin a new cycle to uh, interact with someone new but make sure that you end your old relationships or your old cycles completely before you start a new one okay take care of the endings past relationships legal advice and karmic release okay so you just need to let go of this past person forever like you don't have to think about them don't feel like uh staying with them i mean like completely let go of them emotionally physically uh psychologically every ways okay so let go of this old person completely and only when you know that you've let go of this person try connecting with another person because if you don't then it is just going to be a confusion between the old person and the new person okay so make a decision guys and move on with what you feel is right for you okay so this is all i'm getting here um capricorn so let us thank the gods and goddesses the spirits guides who are with us for the reading and we will complete the reading now so thank you all guys so much for watching bye i see you all tomorrow